My name's Nancy and I've been smoking for 44 years. My name is Linda. I've been smoking since 1965. Surprisingly, I've been smoking since I was about 13 years old. For 18 years? 24 years? I didn't start smoking until I was 42. Since I was 16, 36, 11 years? 40 years. It's like alcohol or, or gambling or anything else. It's hard to quit. I quit uh, all the time, <laughs> every day. It's constantly on my mind. I'm actually working myself up to quit now. Can quit for days at a time, but then it just makes me wonder, then why do I start again? A cigarette is like a drug, man, so you know you're harming yourself. Nicotine is a drug that is uh, more addictive than heroin. It's a hard habit to break. Nah, it's really starting to bother me. People walk by and go cough and cover their mouths and tell me I smell like... Tell me I smell. <laughs> I'm gonna try again very soon. I'm getting tired of it. I am. I just it just it it smells. It it you know. It, I burn holes in my shirts. Smoking's hard. I'm trying to quit and I don't know if I can quit. And you know I'm trying to get there. It's hard being a smoker. Hmm. I've heard all the lectures. You know you shouldn't smoke. <laughs> I know all the signs. Ugh. I've seen all the faces. Uh. I know the money it costs me, but that doesn't change the fact that it's hard to quit. Quit Plan Services. No judgments, just help. With free patches or gum, free text messaging, emails, phone coaching, and more, all without lectures. Call or visit quitplan.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Adia Morris, and I am here to talk about Quit Plan Services, Minnesota's free service to help Minnesotans quit tobacco. I am joined by our resident expert, Mike Sheldon, also from Quit Plan Services. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Adia. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. We are also joined by a studio audience full of current and former smokers. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, how's everyone doing? Good. 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 <laughs> For the next half hour, we'll learn all about what Quit Plan Services is about, a free tool to help all Minnesotans quit tobacco, not with lectures or judgment or finger wagging or even shame, but with free, positive support and science-based tools. And we also want you to know, you know, we're not here to sell you anything because it really is free. And with the right tool, you can quit tobacco. So Mike, tell us a little more about those tools. Yeah, certainly. So again, Quit Plan Services is a free program that's available to help any Minnesotan who wants to quit smoking. So everything from text messages, email support, you can download a quit guide, you can even get a free two-week supply of patches, gum, or lozenges. Is there anybody out here who's currently trying Quit Plan Services? Ah, this guy over here. Tell us a little bit about your experience. It's been amazingly easy to use. I just, I saw the commercial one night, I hopped online, went to the website, and the website just kind of walked me through a process to get started. I basically answered a couple questions online and selected to participate in texts, emails, um, and the starter kit that, that sent me uh, nicotine replacement gum. So Those all sound like really awesome tools. How are, you, how are you liking it? I'm liking them a lot. The text messages are very handy. Cool. Um, basically, anywhere I am, I can basically get, get a text message uh, giving me tips telling me how to use the meds appropriately or uh, even play a game to, to take my mind off of my craving. That's awesome. So how is this free? How is it possibly free? I'm sure all of you are out here like, everything costs something. Everything has a cost. Why is it free? That's a great question. And uh, the reason that this is free is because uh, the, the funding all comes from the tobacco settlement. A portion of those proceeds were set aside specifically to create this program. And so we, uh, we do provide quit plan services for free. There's no strings attached. And our goal really is just to help people quit and quit successfully. Very cool. Well, speaking of quitting, how many people out here are former smokers? Raise your hand. Nice raise. Oh, I love it. How many years do we have? Like five years? Five years quit? Three. Three? Ten? Ten. Twenty? Thirty. 30, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> all right, so we've talked about all these tools and you know, I wanna zero in on one specifically. You mentioned the starter kit. So what is the starter kit about? So the starter kit, quite simply, is just a free two-week supply of patches, gum, or lozenges. So we know certainly if you're trying to quit on your own, uh, those first two weeks, those first 14 days can be pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And so this is just an opportunity to try it out and to get some medication to help you overcome those urges. 
Uh, it is a, it's a pretty simple process. We'll mail them out to you. It really is free, and it's an opportunity to try it out and see what works. Nice. So to better understand nicotine's impact and how these nicotine replacement options can help, we spoke to Dr. Richard Hurt, Professor Emeritus from the Mayo Clinic. He's a leading expert on tobacco addiction and a former tobacco user himself. So let's get a little sciency and hear what he has to say. So when people see a cigarette, they see something that's a little short rod that looks so innocent, uh, but it is the most efficient drug delivery device that's ever been created. It takes five heartbeats to go from the tip of your finger to your brain. It delivers nicotine through the expressway, through the arteries in your neck, going straight to the brain. It's a biological phenomenon, and most people don't understand that. So when we tell smokers, Look, you know people that have stopped smoking and you're struggling with it. You're struggling with it because your brain has been changed and those receptors are the, the main part of the problem. Once you stop smoking, uh, they actually reduce in number. And one of the ways of helping that is to use nicotine replacement products. Now, the spike of nicotine that comes from cigarettes looks like this. The amount of nicotine from a patch or gum or lozenges is fairly low. So we know that people who are using nicotine replacement products and they're stopping smoking, it will help, but it may not relieve all of the withdrawal symptoms. So we have to be doing other things to change the behavior, the behavior part of this, the counseling that works, the text messaging that works. All the things we've talked about for the quit plan can help deal with the other things that go along with stopping smoking. The medications help, but they're not going to be a cure-all. This is not just willpower. This is not a moral or social issue. This is a biological phenomenon. I would definitely say to call Quit Plan and like use their services as much as you can. Um, but also stop. My thing was I would put it, I would be like, I'll quit eventually. And so I would just keep saying eventually. And then eventually just, if you keep saying it, never comes. I have been smoke free for almost seven years. And if it weren't for Quit Plan, I don't know that I would be smoke free today. I don't think I could have done it alone. I don't think without Quit Plan, I would have quit a smoke. To sign up for your free starter kit of patches, gum, or lozenges, visit quitplan.com or call 1 888 354 PLAN. Now, I know that the starter kits have worked for a lot of people, but what if medication isn't something that someone wants to do? Well, exactly, and you know, that's the point too, that Quit Plan Services has all these different options for you. So yeah, uh, medication may not be appropriate for some people, or they just may not want to use it. And the nice thing about that is that you have lots of different options, especially things like the Quit Plan Helpline, where yeah. you get to talk to a quit coach over the phone and really help walk you through that process of quitting smoking or quitting tobacco use. Cool. All right. To give you a better sense of what this helpline is all about, we interviewed a few actual phone coaches you may talk to when you call. Let's take a look. I've been a quit coach here for, well, since 2004, so it's been quite a while. The Quit Plan Helpline is open uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you wake up at 5 in the morning, you know, if you're getting ready to go to work and you all of a sudden get that craving, and you need to talk to someone, you can pick up the phone and give a quick coach a call. I remember I had like two or three phone calls. I make them emergency phone calls, like I need a cigarette right now. And they said, I understand that. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Basically, right? You're not gonna smoke. Just just go drink a cup of water. And, and the desire for that cigarette is not gonna last very long. It's really important to not judge the people you're helping. Uh, there's really no benefit that comes from it. People work so hard to judge themselves, um, and I think it really gives a breath of fresh air to people to be able to share and not feel like they're doing something wrong or that they're a bad person, because they're not. They just are smoking, and they're doing something really brave by calling in to want to quit. Usually on the phone is like a big pain. Like, I dread calling like the insurance company, calling doctors, calling anything. But like I liked when they called and it was always positive. We understand that it's tough. We understand that you might slip. We understand that sometimes you have to do multiple attempts on this. But we also understand you can succeed and make it work. And we'll give you every bit of support we can do on that. Just call us. We really, really know you can do this, and that's what we're about. We want to support you on that. From the first time that I called, they would continue to check in. Um, so 
it was persistent, but in like a good way because that's exactly what I needed. People don't always know what support is. I, I'll tell them, well, think about what support is for you because it may be different for you than for somebody else. Some people want constant encouragement. Other people want to not hear about it too much. I train quick coaches and get them up and running to also take Spanish calls. So we cover different aspects of the cultural differences between Spanish caller and English caller. We can form a pretty intimate relationship in 15 minutes, and that's sweet. That makes the world look to me like a much better place. It's unlikely that you'll do it perfect the first time, and that's totally okay because almost nobody does it perfect the first time. And if something happens, you try something and it doesn't work, that's great because now you know something that doesn't work. You know more than what you knew before and you can modify your plan and keep going. To sign up for free phone coaching through Quit Plan Services, visit quitplan.com or call 1-888-354-PLAN. That was a peek behind the curtain of our Quit Plan phone coaches. And now I want to talk a little bit about one of the uh, strategies that we have uh, at Quit Plan Services, and that's a mini quit, right? So what, I've heard this term, but what is it? So a mini quit is basically just uh, practice quitting during one of your triggers. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So what's a trigger? I mean, other than the horse, what is a trigger? <laughs> Not the horse. So a trigger is really just any time that makes you think about smoking or think about tobacco, anything that you associate with smoking or tobacco. So for our studio audience, what are some of your triggers? I'm sure everybody out here has some or had some. What are some of your triggers? Driving in a car. Yeah, traffic, in the car. Traffic, you know, commute to and from work. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, how about you? For me, uh, when I quit, I stopped going into gas stations for almost an entire month because how? that was a wow. trigger. <laughs> Just go, you know, pay at the pump and leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Stress. Yeah. TV. A meal? Stress level. Stress, yeah. yeah. TV? You know, driving, it was, for me, it was stopping at stoplights. Okay. It was having <laughs> about a minute of not having anything to do. Yeah. Those are all pretty common triggers for lots of people, so it is, yeah, lot, lots of times. Things like driving in your car, having your morning cup of coffee, being out to uh, having uh, some drinks with friends, uh, you know, all of those things that you associate with using tobacco. So this really is just a risk-free way to practice quitting and overcoming that addiction. Uh, and you can find out all kinds of information about mini quits. There's a whole section devoted to this on the quitplan.com website. So there's also text messaging support, right? That's right. And that's one of our newer services, and it's been pretty popular. And actually, you know, the, the research on text messaging is showing that it is helpful at, uh, at helping people overcome their smoking addiction. So it's just that, that regular support right to your phone with uh, motivational messages, supportive mm -hmm. messages, some more quizzes, yeah. uh, just <laughs> things to keep your mind off tobacco. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that you get the text messages as well. And what kinds of things do you receive? For the most part, uh, once daily I'll get a tip or, or something to encourage me to, to keep going down this road. Um, but I have the option of responding to it and getting the help that I need. So if I'm having a craving, I can respond to it with that and they will send me something back to get me through the craving. Sometimes I'll just play a game to get through that, that initial need for a cigarette and it'll take my mind off of it for 10 minutes. That's very cool. Also, you mentioned uh, email support. What is involved in that? And that uh, just walks you through, again, a step-by-step -step process of quitting. So it's a series of emails from the first three weeks, basically, because we know that that can be a pretty tough time, those first few weeks when you're quitting. So again, it's providing you that supportive motivation, yeah. uh, tips, tools, more information that you can find at several, uh, several articles online. Mm -hmm. And again, you can find all of this at quitplan.com. Okay, so you have free starter kits, free email support, free phone coaching, free text message support, and tell me how much does all of this cost? It's all free. It's really free? It's totally free. For the first five callers? For all the callers, it's free. All right, so even if they're caller number 12? <laughs> even if they're caller number 13, it's free. All right, what about shipping? There's no shipping. Handling? There's no handling, it's all free. Packaging fees? No packaging fees, no strings attached, no catch, it's free. What about coming over and washing my dishes? That is not free. Okay. Well, we've heard about the free stuff from you, Mike, but let's hear from someone who's used the services. I started smoking when I was 16. I um, chewed Copenhagen um, uh, for eight years. My daughter came home from school and she said, Mom, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. And she said, a boy at school asked me today if I smoked. I said, what? 
And she said, he said that I smelled like a cigarette. And so they started teasing me. So as soon as she went to bed that night, I got online, went on to Quip Plan, and just started up. I got so bad, I started going to bed with a dip in the lip. You know, and that's how I went to bed. It's foolish, brush your teeth <laughs> and put a big dip in. In the beginning, it was really, really hard. I was an emotional wreck because of what was going on in my body. But emotionally now, I'm happy. I'm a support coach. I wish I knew that lady's name, or I remember anyway, because I, uh, I think about her a lot. Like I'd really like to um, let her know probably how much she's helped me if she doesn't know. I keep track of my stats. To date, I have not smoked 44,000 cigarettes, which is absolutely disgusting to me. A week's gone by, I'm not chewing. Two weeks have gone by and my cravings just a little bit less, you know, and I'm still not chewing. Um, and, uh, you know, here I am today. If I could offer a word of advice, I would just say keep going. Um, really hold on to what people are saying, what you are reading online, what the plan has to offer. These people have worked with, I'm sure, thousands and thousands of people who have quit, and you can do it. Just keep on going. It gets better. I feel great. I feel great. Watch out, Minnesota. I'm around. At Quit Plan Services, you'll get the free tools and support you need to quit tobacco without the judgments. There's free phone coaching, free text and email support, free patches, gum, or lozenges, even a free quit guide, all available at quitplan.com or by calling 1-888-354-PLAN. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Adia Morris, and I'm here with Mike Sheldon of Quit Plan Services. And we are talking about all of the positive support and science-based tools that Quit Plan Services has to help tobacco users like you quit tobacco for good. So, Mike, tell us one more time about those tools. Absolutely. So, Quit Plan Services, again, is a free program that provides all kinds of options and support for any Minnesotan who wants to quit tobacco. Yeah, what kinds of things, what kinds of tools do we have? That's the great thing about Quit Plan is that you have a menu of options to choose from. So everything from emails, text messaging support, you can download a Quit Guide. You can even get a free two-week supply of patches, gum, or lozenges if you'd like that too. I really like that menu of support ideas. So like you open it up, you're at the table. I would like an email, please. <laughs> <laughs> if you want even more support, you can talk to a Quit Coach over the phone and they can really help walk you through this process. And it's all available 24-7 and it's all free. Cool, so we talked about the services, and now let's talk a little bit about the positive reasons for why you need to quit. I feel like people know the general ones, but give us some more science on that. That's right, you know, unfortunately, uh, smoking tobacco use affects nearly every organ of the body, um, so I don't think anyone's surprised to know that it's bad for you. Uh, but the positive news is that once you quit smoking, the benefits start almost immediately. Uh, really, just within 20 minutes, uh, your blood pressure, your pulse rate go down. Uh, within just uh, 12 hours, the carbon monoxide in your blood uh, goes down to, to normal levels. Within just a couple of days, things like your sense of taste and smell improve. Has anybody out here, those of you who have been non-smokers for a while, uh, how have you noticed any of those effects, like right away? Yeah, yeah. Food tastes a lot better. Food tastes food a lot better? better? Yeah. yeah. Anything else over here? Any I form? feel like I have more energy, and I'm not so lethargic. Yeah. I feel like more ready to do things, and it's great. Awesome. Let's go here. Yeah. Long-term health. Long-term Long health. Sure. What else? Yes, for your health. For your health. Yeah. Anything Being else? Being able to breathe easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Money. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I haven't had a respiratory infection since I quit smoking. That's great. And my voice does not sound like Janis Joplin. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a plus, maybe. <laughs> I can sing again. You, you can, can sing, sing again. again. Oh, were you a singer? In the church choir. Oh, nice. Great. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so we have all of these things that we know are the general ideas of why we should quit. Are there other positive benef benefits aside from the health ones? Well, certainly you'll have more money if you quit smoking or quit using tobacco. I think someone mentioned that. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, a, a pack a day smoker uh, could easily save over $200 in just one month. And if you're looking at that over a year's, year's time, uh, we're talking about uh, $2,500 or more. That's amazing. That's enough to buy like two jet skis for your cabin. <laughs> if that's your thing, certainly. Yeah, yeah it can be. Anybody experience, like, massive savings out there? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the day I quit, I went and found a big plastic jar, and every day I put uh, $10 into it. At the end of 100 days, there's $1,000 green stuff in that jar. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything special with the money? 
<laughs> I stopped going to the ATM for a while. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> awesome. So we have all of that, and you can find uh, all of this information on the website. Is there anything that you can get in the mail or download as a PDF? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So you can find all this information on quitplan.com, including things like a cost savings calculator to find mm -hmm. out how much money you'll save when you quit. The other nice thing that you can get from quitplan.com is a quit guide, and you can just simply download that from the website directly. And it just walks you through, step by step, the process of quitting. It's got lots of information, how to deal with urges, help you work through your cravings, all that great information that you need and can provide that support to help you quit and quit for good. All right, so we heard about all of these reasons why it's great to quit. I do want to hear, though, like, what's the hardest part about being a smoker? This can be answered by anyone, who, even you who quit 30 years ago. What's the hardest part about being a smoker? For me, I would actually get um, pains in my leg and my lower back. And I guess it was just constricting the blood flow, so I'd get actual physical pain. So that was really uncomfortable and painful, which yeah. is not fun. Another big factor for me was uh, trying to quit and failing. Mm -hmm. That I felt just horrible. Mm -hmm. Every time I'd, I'd go back to smoking. Yeah. Any other ideas, uh, thoughts out there you want to share? Having to smoke outside in Minnesota when it's four below. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Certainly. Coughing mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like... You don't even think about it. It's just it's just part of your makeup yeah. when you're smoking. Yeah. It went from uh, 40 years ago being the in thing to do to now being ostracized when you do it. Yeah. So there's a lot of social judgment from mm -hmm. non-smokers. Thank you, everyone. Those are really great points. I know it can be really difficult to be a tobacco user. Let's hear a little more from tobacco users just like you. Just standing on the street corner and watching the dirty looks and glares or you're out with friends and you have to stop what you're doing to go out and have a cigarette and family members make comments about the smell on your clothes or you get snipe remarks constantly. Oh, especially when I'm out in the street and they walk by holding their breath. <laughs> I feel it and even more so with all the, you know, ban and bars and bands and the even just like at the bus depot, you can't even stand in there and smoke. I'll use hand sanitizer all the time because my coworkers don't uh, smoke, and so just uh, and I'm also eating lifesavers and anything to, I guess, not upset the non-smokers because yeah, I hate the smell of smoke and oh, terrible habit. Yes, I'm a smoker, and yes, I'm aware I should quit. I get pressure from everyone I love and everything around me. Smoking is really, really bad for you. Yet sometimes that pressure alone is enough to make me want to light up. Quit Plan Services. No judgments, just help. With free patches or gum, free text messaging, emails, phone coaching, and more. All without lectures. Call or visit quitplan.com. So we talked about all of these reasons why we should quit. One of the hardest things about being a smoker, the money, the physical pain potentially, the inability to breathe. And so, I'm really glad that Quit Plan Services exist, so we have all these resources that we can, we can use. Um, quitplan.com, all of this information about how to quit is available there too. Exactly, yeah, and you don't need to register for anything if you just wanna check it out. You can look at quitplan.com. There's lots of tips and tools available before you have to sign up for anything. Obviously, if you do want the services, you can sign up right there online. It's very quick and simple to do. Uh, but you can just check out all the information, and regardless of where you are in the quitting process. If you've already made the decision to quit, if you're just thinking about it and you want to find out, well, maybe am I ready, you can find that out at quitplan.com too. And it sounds like it doesn't take very long for all of this to get rolling, right? It was only a few days. It was a couple of days for the starter pack, but you know, as soon as you get onto the website, you're able to get started right away. Yeah, that's really cool. So in addition to the hub of information that is quitplan.com, there is a Facebook group for Quit Plan Services, and that social support is really important. You have this community of people available, right? Exactly, yeah. It's a nice place to really kind of share what you're going through because there are lots of other smokers and tobacco users who might be going through the same process and you can support each other. Plus, there's former smokers on there who like to talk about, you know, what worked for them and how long they've been quit. It's a also a place to celebrate your success. Yeah. I've been quit for four years or ten years or three days and mm -hmm. I'm struggling. I need some help. The other nice piece is that our quit coaches log on to the Facebook page several times per week. So they'll provide answers to questions that you might have. They can also provide additional support and motivation, and sometimes they'll post some of their own questions. Yeah. And who has liked the Quit Plan Services Facebook page? 
One. <laughs> okay. The rest of you, as soon as you get home, or even when you take a break, pull out your smartphone. That includes you at home, too. You can go ahead and just hit the like button. So we talked about the Facebook group and email and text messaging, all this social support. Is there any other technology that's out there that people can use? There is. There's actually an app you can download from oh. quitplan.com. So uh, just have a little even more support right in your yeah. pocket on your phone. Uh, but it has things like some daily tips, uh, uh, again, a cost savings calculator, uh, some other information that you might want. And it's very easy to download. It's free, and it's available both for the Android and, and Apple operating systems. Awesome. We have been talking about Quit Plan services and all the free tools and services that are available to all Minnesotans to help them quit tobacco. Once again, you know, it's no finger wagging, no shame, no judgment. It really is just here to help you quit smoking. So one more time, tell us about some of those tools. Absolutely. Quit Plan services, as you mentioned, a free program to help any Minnesotan quit smoking, quit any kind of tobacco use. So uh, there's a menu of options you can choose from, text messaging, email support. You can even get a free two-week supply of patches as gum or lozenges. If you'd like even more support, you can talk to a quit coach over the phone and they can really walk you through that process of quitting and quitting successfully. I like the idea of this quit coach person. I mean, I can call them at three in the morning, right? You can call them anytime. It's open 24 seven. That's very cool. And it's all for all Minnesotans, right? That's right, and that brings up a point I'd like to make. Uh, we wanted to make sure that Quit Plan Services was available and accessible to all the communities in Minnesota. You can log on to quitplan.com, and you can also find all that information in Spanish on mm -hmm. our website Very as cool. well. If you're calling into the helpline, we can talk to a Spanish-speaking Quit Coach. Uh, if you speak other languages, you can call into the helpline and ask for an interpreter in your own language, and one will be provided for you. It really is one of the reasons we wanted to make sure that everyone has this access and that they can get this free help that they need to quit. That's very cool. Uh, what if I speak Elvish? It's a beautiful language, but I don't think we have any quit coaches who speak Elvish. Okay. Well, you should get on that. We'll, you know, there's an entire community out there that that's their primary we'll language. We'll work on now. that right after Klingon. Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, let's hear about all of those tools and services one more time. The detail. With Quit Plan services, all Minnesotans have access to a free starter kit of nicotine patches, gum, or lozenges plus free phone coaching, free text message support, email support, and more. So when you're ready, visit quitplan.com or call 1-888-354-PLAN. No judgments, just help. Positive support, science-based tools, no judgment. So Mike, any final thoughts? You know, really, I would just like to say that regardless of where you are in the quitting process, if you're thinking about quitting, if you've already quit, we're here to provide the support and the tools that you need to quit and quit successfully. That's the reason we're here. That's our main goal. Wait, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. Is it free? It's absolutely free. Okay. I, you know, you said that, but sometimes people do a little bait and switch on you. So is it, if it, is it going to be free tomorrow? It's going to be free all the time. Okay. Five minutes from now. <laughs> Five minutes from now. There's no catch, no strings attached. It really is free. Okay. Well, you heard it, everyone. Act now. It's free. That is all the time that we have today. Thanks for joining us. At Quit Plan Services, we're here to help all Minnesotans quit tobacco. Just visit quitplan.com or call 1-888-354-PLAN. For services in Spanish, call or visit quitplan.com slash espanol. For other languages, call and ask for an interpreter in your language. Quit Plan Services. No judgments, just help.